Hello and welcome. Please pause the video, read the problem, and try it on your own. Okay, let's start by reading this and making sense of what we're looking at. Um, in this problem, we have a school newspaper. It's surveying the student body, right? That means all the students, or a sample set of the students, I suppose, um, for an article about club membership. The table below shows a number of students in each grade level. So I'm just taking a look at this. We have ninth. 10th, 11th, and 12th, so four grades in high school, <coughs> who belong to one or more clubs. So notice here, these are students who belong to one club, two clubs, or three or more clubs. If there are 180 students in ninth grade, what percentage of the ninth grade students belong to more than one club? So <coughs> I notice that there's 33 students in two clubs, and there's 12 students in three or more. Together, 33 plus 12 is 45. So there are 45 students who are in more than one club, for sure, right? So um, we're trying to find out what percentage is 45 over 180. Let me show um, two ways of dealing with this. 45 over 180 as a proportion, you want to solve it as a percent. So what is it out of 100? X out of 100 is a percent. So you can solve this proportion. Um, there are lots of ways to do this. I think the easiest way is to multiply both sides by 100, right? X over 100 times 100 is X. And here we have 100 times 45 over 180. So we can do this on a calculator, but I'm going to try to have some fun with it and see how far we can break it down without a calculator. So I know that 45 is 9 times 5. I know that 180 is 9 times 20. And I know that 100 is 5 times 20. So I'm thinking about it this way so I can break things down. And this equals x. All right, well, what can we do next? Well, we can start canceling out. 9 over 9 is 1. 20 over 20 is also 1. And all that's left is 5 times 5. So here, x is 25. Right? What does that mean? Well, that means it's... 25 out of 100, or 25% of the students, right, are in more than one club. Not one or more, but more than one, right? Uh, another way of thinking about this is to say, well, I notice that 180 divided by 45 is 4. And then we can think, okay, what does that mean in terms of a percent? What is 1 fourth equal to as a percent, right? Uh, basically one-fourth, we have four equal pieces here. It fits into four times, so what is that as a percent? Well, if we solve here, multiply both sides by 100, and you would get x equals 100 times a fourth, which again is 25. Still, we get 25%. Same idea, just different arrangement of information. All right, hope this helped.